Were there other cast members that you bonded with? Oh yeah, we you know of course you know well I I go to the reunions every year so I mean we're we're connected like that and then also you know I've had I mean Ian Bailey we we've, we've traveled we've been to Peru together we've gone through the jungles we've gone through a lot we've had we've had a you know a, I actually lived with Ian at one point we shared a place uh, in in somewhere in 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 the LA and and we you know Michael Fassbender he was a really good friend of mine um, I haven't seen him for a long time but he's doing well uh, right now it seems and we had there was like uh, Ross you know we did a movie after Band Brothers together so we we actually did had some adventures in Bulgaria together which was a lot of fun uh, he could if, I don't, has he have you interviewed him Ian. Or, uh, no, Ross. Uh, Ross. Ross McCall. Yeah. 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 We, we yeah, talked. We, well, Ross was one of the first guys to jump on board with us. Uh, hit uh, him and uh, Scotty Grimes and uh, 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 yeah. fantastic, uh, fantastic interview. Uh, it was. I yeah. think it was the first one that went almost three hours. We, he wow. didn't. Have, he had nothing to do that day. He was in between projects. Where he was hanging out on his couch. We became fast friends. And we literally wow. chatted about this for three hours with Ross. It was. Oh. It was beautiful. He's a good talker. He's yeah. He's definitely good at this. He he and he and I went on this amazing adventure through Bulgaria and and just you know it was a really beautiful time. So I mean yeah, in terms of bonding, I mean everybody Ben and this you know Shane. Uh, Shane is also a really good friend. He was the one actually on set. Shane was one of the one of the guys who I really connected with as well. Hmm. Um, we actually had a had a had a good friendship on that on the set. Were you part of uh, Jimmy Matteo's fighting posse that we hear so much about oh, at the beer joints? Oh my goodness! I you know what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was ridiculous. There was definitely testosterone. You know, there was a whole gang. It was all happening. It was just like I'm sure it was. It's just like the the you know the real military. You know, it's like exactly how the different posses, different groups, and there was, yeah, there was that, and we, of course, when we were out in Soho, and I can't remember what happened, but something got thrown down, like a glass got thrown down from some, from the Soho house, and then next thing you know, I don't know who's taking their shirt off, and, <laughs> you know... <laughs> well, from what I understand, that's it was how you know it's yeah, going down. That, yeah. You don't want to rip the shirt. You rip the shirt this off, is, and uh, from yeah, what I understand, is, it was uh, Matteo and uh, Neil McDonough. Uh, running Matteo down. wanted to yeah. reveal his newly chiseled boot camp body. Exactly, and, yeah. and, and oh to me, God. to me, that just it just makes me smile because I know he's like uh, four and a half feet tall. I love him. Uh, he'll take you down. Oh but, my God, yeah, that boy. That's what he'll I heard. Knock you out. <laughs> he'll, he'll just knock you out. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mess with Jimmy. Oh, uh, that's he, awesome. He, he, you know, it's, it's those small ones that yeah, you have to watch out for them. They'll knock you out. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know. You know, you've gotten so close to a lot of the fellas um, huh? on set and off set because actually, one of our uh, ladies in the chat room, China from Canada, uh, one of the first uh -huh. questions that came through. You know, who did you become closest with? So I'm glad. You know, her question yeah. got answered. Um, yeah. Yeah. I am going to boot camp, though. Um, Anthony from Canada wanted to know, how long did it take you to get used to those boots? How long did it take? Well, you know, I tell you something, because I was in, I went to boarding school in London, and we, we were, for, I think it must have been three years, I did what is called CCF. And I had to basically it's like a cadets right mm -hmm. so we would do marching and go on all sorts of training go down to different uh bases and do obstacle courses and do out you know so do all sorts of things and i had to keep my boots because we do marching we do inter-house marching competitions oh. and so i would you know so boots i was used to boots we used to have to polish those things you know, till I don't know, till the you know, so you could see yourself, you know, like a mirror, and then, so I mean, so I mean, literally, I you know, I would be marching with those boots and marching up and down. So I, boots weren't something foreign to me, and these particular ones, I actually got 
they weren't uh, oh the, you know I actually after a while after a while they, I mean in the beginning of course there was some sort of stiffness of course but after actually maybe now I've come to think about it they might have they might have been a pain in the ass I'm just trying to think <laughs> I'm actually just thinking about it I'm like wait a second they were a pain in the ass wait a second did, did, uh, did yeah, you keep them? took a while um did I keep them? Do you still have the boots from uh, Band I Brothers? have. I think that I have them. They might be in storage in England. Hmm. At my grandmother's, I think. I think I. I think they. I think they might be in storage. Yeah, it was funny, you know, because I tell you something. There was a. I think I had one of those experiences where, when you go into, it's like when you go to war and you come back and you don't really talk about it. Hmm. Right. You know, you kind of like, on some level, for me, the whole experience was a real time of, of deep introspection. I was like, it was a big moment in my life where I was really thinking about, you, you know, I, I mean, I think in kind of thinking back about it, I was a part of, a, of this, this film, which was a, about World War II, about people who had a purpose who had a great deal of meaning in their lives and they were, you know, they were doing something that was really important. Um, and so I, I think I started to question a lot of things about my life and at that time during that show and I was sort of questioning everything, the world and art and everything you could imagine. And I mean, also at the same time, I became very um, inspired by, you know, other other things, other aspects of life, I started to uh, really delve into philosophy and uh, psychology and all sorts of all sorts of things. So I think that whole journey led me very much like Shifty because he was kind of the he was the humanist. He was like a real kind of on some level a humanitarian, even though he was a soldier, and he was you know that was but, the, but he kind of held the, the this kind of humanitarian spirit as well. Um, you know, as he said, like, in, in those interviews, he's like, you know, with the Germans, he said, you know, they could have been my friends, you know. Uh, you know, if we weren't fighting each other, you know, there was a similarity. So he saw that. Um, but, you know, so, I mean, so there was some commonality, you know, and I was finding that within myself. And I think I think this idea of meaning and purpose was was something that kind of stayed with me, and I think it stayed with me ever since. It's like... Uh, you know, what's important? What am I really doing in this life? What, how am I really serving the greater, a greater good? How am I serving people? And how am I, uh, you know, living for, um, you know, living for a cause that actually is going to bring some, uh, you know, bring the world into a better place? Um, so, yeah, so so much of that was, 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 so then after the fact, I kind of like put, my boots away, you know what I mean? Yeah. I put my, I put it away. Um, even though I would say that every, every, I w I've always, I was always a soldier, you know, and things I was cast in. I don't know how many soldier movies. I was always a soldier, always a soldier. Even my, I, then I eventually found a mentor who was kind of helping me with these kind of deeper questions. And he was, he's a, a he's a, he was a captain in in the in the Marines in, uh, in Vietnam, and so there was also this kind of real kind of connection and deepening my understanding of what it is to be a soldier and what it is to to you know what that means you know what it what it meant.